everybody. Day nine. We got through day eight. Phew. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and start with our tea calendar for today. Number nine. So glad we're past eight. Okay, today's tea. I took my glasses off. I still can't get my contacts back in yet. I will tomorrow, hopefully. Oh, hey. Did we have this already? I think we did. Holiday blend. I think a lot of these calendars, well, no, that was happy holidays. Maybe it's different. I'll have to double check my notes. <laughs> but anyway, we have holiday blend today. It sounds familiar. Um, it's basically organic black tea with cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, nutmeg, pepper, and orange. Sounds familiar. I'll double check and I'll make a note later if it's uh, one we've had already. Uh, but anyway, there it is. Um, holiday blend. Yay. Try that tea. And then we'll uh, turn around and we'll take a look at the Bon Mon calendar. See if we got a duplicate All there. Right, number nine, here it comes. Okay, I am going to put it down because I've learned my lesson that these don't come out easily unless you put it, no, maybe all the way down. Hold on, let me move my apple basket. There you go. <laughs> these are just not easy to get out of here. Okay, girl is struggling, just so y'all know. <laughs> Sorry, there it is, I'm getting it there. Warmest thoughts, by the way. Warmest, well, now I'm warm because I was just struggling. <laughs> All right, okay, oh, see, something new, that's good. Strawberry Linden Blossom Spread. Yay, I like a strawberry. Well, we'll give it a try. All right, here's my taste tester. Um, so we have the English muffin again today. Okay. So we're gonna let him guess again. He thought he'd try to guess again. Mm. Are right, you ready? There you go. I know what it is. <laughs> caramel color. Mmm. Mm, I like this one a lot. I like this one a lot. Any guesses? It tastes like tamarind. It does taste like it, but it's not. You're right. It does taste a little bit like tamarind, but it's wow. not. Well, that's my guess. I would agree with that assessment. It's just all over tamarind for It's me. strawberry, hmm. but it's got something called linden blossom. Okay. Never heard of that before. From but, the linden tree. <laughs> yeah. Um, and today's um, tea was holiday blend. I double checked during the break here. And um, we've not had holiday blend. We've had holiday something else. We had happy holiday and we had like breakfast blend. So that's probably why I got confused. So a new tea to try. Okay. Holiday blend. You go ahead and try first. I know you got to get to your meeting. Yeah. Clear my palate. <laughs> I'll tamarind off that. <laughs> right. Isn't that weird? It's strawberry. Do you like it though, Joey? Yes, very oh, much okay. so. Oh, tamarind. So I wasn't sure if you liked it when you said it that way. Hmm. <laughs> That's just tea. I'm just kidding. You don't have to try to guess the flavors in that. I don't know. There's it's a lot of flavors. It's got like a sage or something going on in there. No, no sage. It's black tea with cinnamon, okay. ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, pepper, and orange. Cardamom or to go orange. with the tamarind. <laughs> or orange. <laughs> tastes like black tea. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. It tastes very good, but I just... I, I actually... It tastes like tea. Actually, that reminds me of something at the, the Drake. Okay. Something I've had at the Drake before. Dra Dra the Drake in Chicago has a tea service, basically. We go there every New Year's Day. High tea. High tea. Um, but that tastes like something familiar from there. I don't know why. But anyway, there's our tea and our jelly today. See you in a bit. Hey, it's cat toy time. Advent calendar number nine. Um, this is right here, but she just woke up. Literally, she just went, oh, and she stretched. And of course, Turtle's upstairs still sleeping because that's what Turtle does. So we'll see what kind of toy we have. God bless you. And she just sneezed. God bless you, Miss. If y'all heard that. <laughs> oh, Miss. Whoops. <laughs> it's a little red ball. You guys look like a Christmas ornament. All right, let's see if she, she probably won't dig it. There goes Phil downstairs, go to work. Miss, look, new ball. Oops, there you go, sorry guys, she's smelling it. What do you think, new, new ball? Yeah, okay, she just woke up. I have a strange feeling this ball is gonna become turtles because she likes a ball and she likes the soft balls like this. So I think I'm gonna bring it upstairs and see if she digs it later. Um, Miss literally just woke up. <laughs> All right, rituals of Advent, good morning. 
This is little house number nine. So let's take a look at it. And whoops, let's see, I take my glasses off. A Christmas glow, reveal your inner glow and fight the first signs of aging with the ritual of Namaste Serum. Well, I could use some Namaste. Huh? All right, so I'm guessing it's like a face thing, right? It's gotta be. Ritual of Namaste, respect for nature, respect for skin. Yeah, so basically it's an anti-aging super serum. And serums are usually put underneath your moisturizer. I'm learning as I go here. Um, oh, there's the front of it. Saffron flower and holy lotus. Hmm, that should smell interesting. Um, and I'm just seeing if it has any kind of direction. It doesn't, but most, Let's just see, super serum. Yeah, now, most, pla most places they put the serum underneath your moisturizer. So you tell me under the comments below if you think that's wrong. Okay, for the record, this is Turtle in the morning. She sits in the window seat in my office and she will sit there almost all day while I'm working and I'll pet her in between and make her feel happy. Right, Mama? But say, look, there's a new ball. Oh, she's interested. New ball, put it over here. What do you think? Is it something to play with or is it just going to be a pillow? Hmm. Well, she might like it better than Miss. Or maybe not. Or maybe she's too tired. Oh, maybe, oh, watch out. Oh, it's a new toy. I think she likes it. The fact that she opened her mouth makes me think she's going to fight. Uh-oh. Are you going to get it or are you done? <laughs> is she going to get it? Oh, well, maybe. I know, extra long video, here we go. What do you think? Is that a new toy for you? Yep, I think she likes it. Good morning and welcome to day nine. Like I said earlier, we made it through day eight, yay. Uh, today's picture of a dad is a really old, but a good one. I don't know the year, I tried to find out, it's not in the photo, um, but he looks about in his maybe 20s, possibly. Um, and he's sitting there with a really good friend of his, Bob. And he and Bob actually worked together for many years at that Scandinavian Airlines I mentioned the other day. Um, what was so nice, yesterday was hard, as we all know, and I won't go through all that again. I'm not crying today, I promise. But I was so grateful to, I got some texts from some really good friends of mine uh, who remembered, um, which I appreciate because I do the same for my friends. I hate to say this, when somebody passes away, I have a spreadsheet. I have a spreadsheet for everything. Um, just to kind of pray again Catholic, pray over them for the year just to, you know, for their family to heal. So I always try to, you know, give them a little bit of a hug during the time of, of the uh, the first year. Uh, so I was kind of, I was surprised actually that a few of my friends came through as well like that. I was just really surprised. Um, but my father's friends came through. So Bob actually texted me yesterday. I think he's a little younger than my dad, not much younger, but a little bit and he sent me a beautiful text message and another friend, another Bob, believe it or not, um, called me, another friend that he worked with at SAS, called me yesterday. And then his best friend, Bill, um, uh, we texted as well. So it was so nice to hear from my dad's friends. Uh, that was pretty cool who were thinking about me and thinking about dad and they had some stories to tell, which were great. Uh, but anyway, that's him and Bob, uh, youngsters. And I love that picture. He just looks like a cool cat. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at some advent calendars and make ourselves happy let's today. Let's start today with L'Occitane. So number nine actually is right next to number where number eight was. Let's kind of pick up number nine. Oh, what's this? Mm -hmm. Something different. Looks like a hotel shampoo bottle. <laughs> I went to a lot of hotels in my life, so I know. There's Turtle making noise again. It is a Verbena shower gel. Hooray! Oh, I bet you this smells good though. I bet you a lot. It's probably, oh, you know what? Look, it's got a little tiny, oh, how cute. I don't know why I think that's cute, but I do. But it doesn't turn to open, so can't really smell it until I use it, I don't think. But I think it's gonna smell really pretty. I, I just love that, uh, ver, ver, I think it's verbana or verbena. I think it's verbana, but anyway, uh, shower gel. I actually am one shower gel behind right now on testing the ones I've received, but um, I haven't done the second rituals one yet. I did the, uh, Grapefruit one from Body Shop this morning. I wasn't too happy with the grapefruit, but anyway, so maybe we'll try this one um, to, tomorrow or the next day. All right, next. All right, next up is gonna be Clarence. Oh, by the way, somebody put on the video uh, notes something about the alpacas, aren't they adorable? Um, so anyway, I got those at the Mall of America in Minnesota, 
there was or is, maybe there still is, I haven't been there in a while, an alpaca store that's everything alpaca. It is just, they're the softest thing you ever want to touch. And of course, Turtle tries to get to them. I'm like, no, these are mama's alpacas. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here's Clarence. Uh, number nine today, and I did put the ornament back because, hey, we're back to happy day, at least for today. Um, let's see what we get for number nine. Oh, something tiny. Oh my goodness, where is it? Okay, got it. Oh, look how tiny. Okay. Um, Clarence, of course, duh. Um, oh, it's face oil, uh, treatment oil. Um, it's probably gonna be very tiny. I'll have to look on the website. I always look on the websites to see, you know, what the treatment oil is for, um, how it's to be used. Most treatment oils are done under your moisturizer. And I think we had a treatment thing downstairs from um, Mitchell's today as well. So, hey, I've got lots of treatments to do. But um, we'll give it a try. Look fantastic. Do, do, do. It's number nine. Here it is. Oh, it's like microchip. First, I thought I thought it's a computer chip in there. <laughs> oh Lord! When you get older, you'll know when your glasses don't work anymore and things like this. There's a big bubble. Oh, I love a bubble wrap. <laughs> let's just let's just do the bubble wrap. No, it's kidding. It's very very well glued. There we go. Oh, NARS. Now, everybody, I think, I should assume, everybody knows NARS. Uh, this is a blush. Great makeup company. I've had no issue with their products ever. Um, I have bought, I actually bought a few things from them in my past. And what was it again? Oh, yeah, blush. <laughs> I had to look at the packaging, lots of packaging so it doesn't break. I love that. And let's see what kind of color. What does it say? No, nope, it says backwards. It says, okay, did everybody see that? I don't even know if I should say this. I'm probably gonna get demonetized. Although I'm not trying to make money here, believe me. YouTube doesn't pay very well. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say it. Y'all can read it. All right, so I'm gonna show that to Phil later though. Oh my God, we're gonna show that to Phil later. That'll be funny during his session. Oh, let me, let me try to open it without breaking it. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but it's just like a peach. <laughs> So if peach makes you feel that way. God bless you. Oh, I just, I'm trying to figure out why the name of it is that, but maybe after I put it on, I'll know. A mirror. Oh, look at the mirror looking at the camera. Okay, NARS, no surprise, <laughs> but I'm not reading it out loud. I'm going to let Phil right, read it later. Number nine from Sephora. It says, baby, it's cold outside. And ain't not, not kidding. Illinois, it's cold. Actually, yesterday, I have to say, for my dad's anniversary, we were, you know, out and about. It was beautiful outside yesterday. It was cold, but it was definitely a beautiful sunny day. Um, but it's cold according to this. Oh, what does it say? The 90s are asking for their hair back. Okay, so here's the fun part. I couldn't even tell you what 90s hair is. I, I know 80s hair really well because I lived through that era. <laughs> and I was in high school during that period of my life. The 90s? Not sure. So this will be a surprise for me. Oh, good old scrunchie. Yeah, but you know what? Here's a good old scrunchie, right? Everybody loves a scrunchie. But we wore these in the 80s, too. Just to be fair, we, we wore these a lot on top of our head. We used to do ponytails and silly things. But this one's got like a little bow to it. So, all right. Uh, I tend to wear scrunchies now when I take a shower to put my hair up. <laughs> and that's about as much as I do with the scrunchie or when I work out, right? So, not, not a bad thing to have at all. I'll definitely okay, be Okay, number nine for Kiehl's. What we get another person shopping, my favorite kind of person. Um, ooh, there we go. Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. Wonderful. I love a mask. Like I said, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, I got a mask yesterday. I was supposed to use it. It was Wednesday, but as you can imagine, yesterday wasn't that great of a day. So I went to bed like I, I didn't even wash my face. Shh. I wasn't wearing eye makeup, so I was okay with that. Wearing eye makeup today is probably not a good idea, but I definitely did not wear my bed. I was like, I'm going to bed. I had beer. So anyway, <laughs> let's see what we get now. Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask with white clay. I, I'm zoning on my clay. You know, I just, I'm digging the Kiehl's stuff. I really am. And as I mentioned on the very first video, I've never used Kiehl's product in my life. And I always wondered, look, that looks nice. Put it on my face later. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm digging the Kiehl's stuff, so we'll give it a try. Face mask. I'm not sure. We'll taste Thursday, but I missed yesterday. Maybe I'll do one tonight. Um, we'll see what it looks oh, like. Body shop party. Every time I see this scene, I feel like I need to go to a party, but I'm still chicken, guys. I'm sorry. 
I, no offense. I don't want to lose my taste and smell. Yeah, I know. I know. I hear you. I get it. I'm vaccinated, but I don't. I've had a lot of friends vaccinated who still got the stupid COVID. So I want to keep my taste. I like to eat. Anyway, no judgment, no politics. Anyway, here's number nine for today. Looks like we're going grocery shopping and getting some nice bread and oil. Mmm, that sounds good. Bread with some olive oil. Anyway, sign up today and vol oh, sign up today to volunteer at your local care home, food bank, women's refuge, or homeless shelter. Yes, I agree with that completely. And not just at the holidays, folks. You have to volunteer whenever you can. I know not everybody can do it every time, every day. My husband and I had done prison ministry for like almost three years. Uh, unfortunately, it's because of COVID, the prison has shut down. The ministry for still shut down because obviously they don't want anybody in and out of there bringing in the germs. But um, I think when that all gets back to normal, oh God, I hope so, uh, we'd like to go back and do that again. But yeah, sign up volunteer. How about, and especially, you know, it's funny, especially older people, knowing what my dad went through and, and all the help he needed. And I was, thank God, there to help him. But there may be a lot of older people in your neighborhood who just can't get their damn groceries. So maybe help out. Anyway, enough preaching. Enough preaching. Oh, here, okay. So what is this? Body shop. Um, ooh, this sounds good. Almond milk and honey. Oh, guess what? A hand cream. <laughs> I gotta laugh because I've got a billion hand creams now. And by the way, before I bought all these advent calendars, I love hand creams. So I have a whole bunch of hand creams as it is and in, in, in a box of hand creams that I use. But that's okay. But I love this. This sounds like it's going to smell amazing. So I'm going to have to try it right now because... I love a hand cream. I'm gonna come back in a second. Yes, this I knew this was gonna smell fantastic. And it does. It's a light smell. See, I don't like hand creams that smell too too potent. I like the ones that smell light and 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 yummy. <laughs> like almond milk and honey. That's kind of, that's why yesterday the grapefruit body gel, um, body shower gel that I used this morning, I I'm not into fruit. Like, I like fruit to eat it, but I'm not liking fruit on my hands. I mean, sometimes, sometimes, depending on how, how if it's a light blend. But, um, yeah. I like, give me a vanilla. Give me, you know, something that smells like a bakery. <laughs> that's going to be my hand cream. But this is, yeah, that's a good one. I was highly Glossy box. Actually, the December glossy box is coming soon. Um, you know, the, the monthly box where they give you things to try. So I'm going to be so full of things to try. But I'm actually looking forward to it, even though I have a million pieces of truck. Oops, I just dropped the kale stuff on the floor. I'll get it. Anyway, I'm not expecting you're going to get it. <laughs> you're just watching. I'm a little silly today, maybe, because I feel good today. Anyway, number nine was in here, so let's get this open. Number nine. All right, as per usual, we have our black... I should have made it red for Christmas. No, there I am. I'm being picky. I'm sorry. There we go. Well, I guess, you know what, though? Well, Advent is Christmas. Never mind. I say not everybody will open this for Christmas, but I guess it needs an Advent calendar. Ooh. Car. K-A-R. Never heard of him. Kim. Ariana. Who knows? I don't. Cruelty-free, though. I like that. K-A-B Cosmetics. Oh, wait a second. No, I don't know who this is. Anyway, I was thinking like Kim Kardashian or something. Lip liner and lip gloss. I know the other Kardashian sister makes lip liners and all sorts of things. I've never bought them, but I know about them because I watch TV. Um, oh, this is going to be nice, I think. Let's see. I'm going to dig this color too, I think. It's called Charming. I'll have to look this up on the internet and see what... Oh, it's a nice looking light like, pencil too. That that looks like a great color to wear on Christmas, don't you think? I do. I might actually wear it. I, I'll wear it later though. I'll always like to put these on before we uh, have our wine. And there's the gloss. I think it's a gloss, right? Yeah, lip gloss. I keep bumping the camera. I'm sorry today. Yep. Alright, I'm going to try that before I have my wine and cheese with Phil later. Let me show him the uh, other eyeshadow. I think that's a winner. Okay, you Roche. Number nine. It's a long thing box. A wave of oxygenation for skin. Mm, I'm gonna guess a mask. <laughs> this is my guess. Let's see, she guess each day what she thinks are. A pure algu, algu. Oh no, 
about the cleansing gel? The Ultra Fresh Cleansing Gel, normal to combination skin, which is good for me. Sulfate free, which has nothing to do with my hair, but there you go. Um, I don't, I'm gonna look at my list when I'm done. I don't think we've had a whole lot of cleansing gels. I had the exfoliation um, product the other day, which is really, really good. Um, I don't think we've had a lot of cleansing gels. So we'll get to give this one a shot maybe tomorrow morning or tonight when I wash off my makeup. As per each day, we do the Christian Dior calendar last for the beauty calendars. So yesterday we got a um, perfume per se, and I smelled it and I was like, hmm, this could be for a male or a female. I couldn't really tell. So I looked online and I was right. It is for both sexes. And I thought, how cool is that? And I loved it. I actually saw reviews from uh, guys named Jeff, women named Robin, you know, just, there's just all sorts of different people using it. And they actually state, you know, it's for either sex per se, or that, that, that's not the right word probably, but anyway. Anybody can use it. How's that? Just anybody can use it. Although in reality, I guess perfume can be used, any kind of perfume can be used or, or cologne for anybody, right? Period. If you like it, you like it. That's my philosophy. Anyway, let's see what we get for number nine today. Number nine. Open the doors. Okay. Little two. To your prestige. La Mousse. My cell, yeah. <laughs> I hate that. I am actually French and I don't have a clue how to speak French. Um, sorry. Gentle cleansing foam for fa isn't that that's hysterical because I just said we haven't got any a lot of cleansing foams. Oh sorry, there's a camera. Too much light. But now we have two that we can try today. We're not sure today, but I'll try one tonight, one tomorrow morning. How's that? And I know people are probably out there screaming, like, you shouldn't be mixing up all these products. But you know what? It's all soap. Um, but reality is once I'm all done, I'm going to organize because I'm very organized and say, okay, where's all my Dior stuff? Where's all my Clarins stuff? And kind of see what I can use together and kind of make sets for each, each day to use. But anyway, that's just me. All right, guys, we're done with the uh, beauty calendars. And we'll see you a little bit later after I do my 500 meetings. Let's start with the games calendar. Number nine is down here. I hate when they cave in like that. <laughs> tool. I need a tool because I can not dig it out of there. <laughs> there we go. And it's a switch. Another switch. I don't know, it's a little button thing. Or a button. A, little, a right. switch, but it's a button. All right. And the radio. About the same spot over here, number nine. Let's see what we got. A ceramic capacitor. It is a 104, which 1040s. It's a 100,000 picofarad capacitor. All right, let's have fun with that and see what it looks like in a little bit. Okay, so the game, we've got all the LED lights back. We have the additional switch, which is just a reset button, and the speaker has moved to a different pin on the chip. This is called the reaction game. Now, I'm not sure why it's called the reaction game. Um, it's kind of just a timing game, but I'm gonna connect the power. And here the speaker is making this clicking noise, which is what it's supposed to do. And this is counting numbers 0 through 16 in binary. So you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, now it's... So that's 16. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the point of the game, if you even call it a game, is when it gets to a certain number, you're supposed to hit the stop button. So I'm going to go for, like, all lit. I got it. So, because I knew what sequence was coming. And then next will be all blank, zero. And this is just like a reset back to 16 button. So it's called the reaction game, so you can stop it on a certain number. Let's try two lights on the right. There, I got it. And this is the reset. That's that. <laughs> Nothing too spectacular. We know that the chip can count. This is even less spectacular. 
So now I've replaced the big capacitor, which made the bulb take a long time to charge up, and it made it very slow, with this tiny electrolytic capacitor, this uh, 100 nanofarad, 100,000 picofarad capacitor. So you'll see the, which means it holds very, very little charge. You'll see that the light lights up right away, and it goes out right away, either way. But what this capacitor does is that crack that you were hearing on the speaker, it kind of shorts out that cracking noise. So when I touch it now, there is a sound, which you probably can't hear it on the microphone. You can see the light blinking. That's important with radios, so if there's like noise from switches or anything, it gets rid of it. So that's it. All right, um, the end of the night. I am physically and mentally exhausted. Um, as you probably saw this morning's video, I was up very early um, to do the wine calendar, the wine so I'm tired, the jelly calendar and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I opened all of my um, beauty advent calendars before like eight o'clock so I could get that done before I started work. Um, but I've literally been in meetings until 5 p.m. today. I am exhausted. My job is literally killing me. We'll leave it there. Um, and then we had dinner reservations with a friend tonight, which I really wanted to see. So I forced myself to go. And I didn't even wear jewelry today. I didn't even have a chance to put jewelry on. I just, I just was exhausted. So we went to dinner. And I'd really rather go to bed, but I said we have to finish this tonight. <laughs> so, yeah. so here we are. Um, Phil did his piece. You probably didn't hear me talk through it because I was just too tired. Um, but I did do my coloring. She added more purple today, which is very nice. So that's done. Um, we're going to have the wine and cheese. I'll probably have a little sip of the wine, but I'm very, very tired. So I probably shouldn't drink too much wine, but I'll have a little bit tonight. Um, I have to do that first, actually. So here's number nine for today. Oops, sorry, guys. Just really, really tired, so I apologize. Good, it's not white. Nope. All right. Oh, and it's not even. It's not a La Pluma either. Not a La Pluma. There we go. I'll turn this back around. Sorry, I'm doing everything really slow because I'm very, very exhausted. Um, okay, so we've got a Norello Cappuccio. Hmm. Terra, that's from Sicily, basically, product of Italy. Um, and that's all it says. But there it is 2020 wine for today. So this looks like it, it'll be pretty good. So Philip will open that. And then today on the Aldi cheese calendar, again we're going to do number nine. So sorry for the really, sorry for my attitude tonight. I'm just really tired. It's been a long day. Um, but you have to take a day off of work in my company. You suffer for it the next day. Um, oh, oh, hey, we got a new, new flavor cheese finally. So that's good news. Tonight, number nine brings to us a white cheddar. So we haven't had that yet. So we have that's not good. had cheddar yet. Let's open this cheese and wine and see what we get here. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. Just pour me a little, because honestly, if I drink any more, if I, <laughs> we had wine at dinner tonight. I had right. no more at dinner tonight, so I'm really tired. That's all you're going to get. Yeah, that's all I want. Just want to taste it. Ooh, it's very deep. Color. We totally didn't get dessert, so I can have this cheese. Taste the wine first. Hmm. It's got a nice aroma. Mm -hmm. It's very um, pungent. You can smell it. Needs a little air, but it's good. Needs a little air. No, I'm serious. Needs to air out just a little bit. Yeah, sure does. We actually have an aerator we usually put in our red wine bottles when we buy a bottle of wine. Yeah, it's not going to fit probably, in here, though. No, it might, actually. But, I think so. Yeah, but the idea is that, you know, it would take too long to get all that together. True. <laughs> anyway, here's your cheese. White cheddar. Cheddar. Sure. Mm, that's good. Yeah. That's my dessert, because I didn't have a dessert mm. tonight. It's a little sharp. It's good. Um... And I said this really earlier in the, in the video today, for those of you who are watching the um, beauty calendar part, I promised I was going to show this to Phil, so I'm bringing it with me. Um, so today, Phil, in mm -hmm. the, um, I think it was the 
think it was the one of the bigger calendars. I can't remember which one. Okay. I got blush hmm. from NARS. NARS. I would just okay. you watched earlier today. Little cube. And I thought you would appreciate the name of this blush. It's on the back. And I don't want to say it out loud. Oh. <laughs> you don't say it out loud, it'll get demonetized. <laughs> All right. It's for those the, of you it's the ONARS. Yeah, for those of you maybe didn't watch this morning. Um that was the oops, that's the name of the blush. Hopefully you're seeing that. I can't even see if you're seeing that. But yeah, so but Phil will get a kick out of that one. All right. And we'll go with the boob cream. <laughs> All right guys, sorry about such a vlog video at the end of the day here, but the girl needs to go to bed. I have literally eight meetings tomorrow in a mm -hmm. row with one break. You need some rest from today and some pre-rest for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we're getting our booster shots tomorrow night. Yes. Yay, booster shot. And then I'm going to sleep all day Saturday. <laughs> well, it opens, like my, a plan. it opens back my calendars. Yeah. So thanks for joining us once again today. Sorry, I'm so close up today. I'm not even paying attention. So you guys have a good night or morning whenever you're watching this. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.